Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire! You saw that locked door to the left there? Uh, you can't open that, even with Karn, so don't bother. And yes, it was absolutely necessary for me to destroy all three blocks to satisfy my OCD. Well, let's grab some treasure! Giant hammer, if you want to give that to Ox, you can. Uh, let me see, is that a two-handed one? I forget. Yep, it's two-handed. Spine hammer, not two-handed, which is one reason why I really like it. Not just for the raw power there. Uh, also, we got that Echo Hat there. I believe Nina can equip it. And it has a guaranteed magical counter-attack rate. But it only counters uh, with 6% of the power of the spell that was used on you. So let's say someone cast a spell that dealt 100 damage to her, she would counterattack with uh, with 6 damage. So, yeah, it's totally not worth it. It just, it just wastes so much time for so little damage. Even the strongest magic in the game deals 400 damage, so that's what? Uh, 24 damage counterattack? I mean, it's worthless. So, yeah, I wouldn't even bother with that at all. But we got a new enemy here, Lancer X. If you want to get the treasure in this dungeon, well, you're going to have to fight them. And I'm going to on my first trip, because they're good for experience. If you want to, you could skip them and the treasure by bashing through that wall there. Like so. Booyah! Uh, let's go to the left here. All that for an herb? Man, that was a waste. Let's uh, blow that open, because we're going to have to walk through here again later anyway. By the way, all those soldiers that I've been fighting, they're all the same guy. That's why I'm just going to uh, edit out fighting all those guys again. But you should do so anyway. By the way, if you didn't have the money for that spine hammer, you probably should equip the giant hammer. Maybe even the metal shield on Ox. Maybe that's why they give you all this equipment. Although Ox can't, uh... Yeah, Ox can't... Uh, equip the shield with the other hammer. So, oh well. Now I'm just gonna take shortcuts, because there's nothing over there. Oh, but here we got a new enemy! Sorcerer! At least I think he's new. Well, if he isn't, I'm gonna show him again to you, viewers. It's a relatively new enemy. Yeah, they're weak to fire, water... Well, we don't have anything that can do water, but, uh, they are zombies, oddly enough. But, oh, there you go. Let's see how we're doing here. Not bad, but let's just, uh, touch things up a little bit. Man, Karn, you've been taking a lot of damage there. But I think we're in good shape now. Absolutely. That's... Well, I think you're the one who's gonna croak. For boss time against the Toad himself. Okay, so, first things first. Let's use Thunder Dragon, those two attack, and Nina use Flame Rapier there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, yeah, the Toad has no elemental weakness that I can exploit, so I'm not really worried about that. But he does have quite a bit of HP. Uh, I'm not going to use Marble Ones here, because I prefer to save them for when I'm... when I have an elemental weakness that I can exploit with my dragon spells, so that way the effect of the Marble Ones are more impactful. Because, I mean, yeah, I could just buy, like, 50 Marble Ones and just use them all the time, but then I'd have no money to upgrade my equipment. So, I kind of prefer to use them sparingly. And for the most part, the boss fights really aren't that hard. So, I don't think we... I don't think you really need to use them all the time like that. Maybe later on, when we get more dragon spells. Hey, watch where you're sticking that thing! Control yourself! It doesn't have a mind of its own. Uh, do we need to heal a little bit? Nah, I think we're doing alright. We'll be fine. Just 
keep on going all out. Fortunately, his second wind is not that bad. Of course, it is taking a little while to whittle him down to his second wind. Um, hmm. You know what? You use a uh, flame rape here, and you need to heal yourself so that way you don't die. This guy is a little fast, but not faster than us. Come on, Karn! Why didn't you just, like, raise your bow over your head or something? You gotta rock out! Well, we've almost got him. Well, we've almost got him. That's... Yeah, his second wind isn't that bad, so let's go with... Let's go with the Cura 2, just to be on the safe side. That was almost 100 HP, so restored. You might want to keep an eye on Ox there. Yeah, Ox is just really slow, but fortunately, the spells that he has uh, have priority in battle. Ow! Yeah, when bosses get down to critical, they just well, they go into pissy boss mode, as usual. But, hooray! We got him. And of course, like all good bosses in JRPGs, they explode. What's Bo and Gobi doing here? I thought they were fused with Car. Well, that is kind of a drawback of the game. That, uh, whenever you have a cutscene with dialogue or something, I don't think they even have any dialogue in this scene. But they unfuse Karn for whatever reason. So, oh, okay, so they took it to the north. Okay, well, let's head on over there, then. Nuts. Nabal Therapy? No. No, that's another game. It was Cabal, actually. But, yeah. Well, maybe. Let's give it a try. Okay, so, first things first. You gotta refuse Karn. Remember to uh, always keep an eye on that. Then we'll get him there. Oh, yeah, and Nina, you might wanna heal yourself. You don't have to do this next part that I'm gonna do, but I'm going to anyway, just to kinda show it off. Booyah! Oh, yeah! It's the best stuff man impression you're gonna get out of me, viewers. But if you go up here. Yeah, we got all these chocobos. Frocobos? No. No, they're too big to be frocobos. But yeah, there's this guy that just blends into the trees here. Oh. Okay. He's gonna pop up periodically throughout the game to help us out, so... Hmm. We gotta find another way to uh, do that. So uh, now, uh, we gotta find that old wise man that they were telling us about, so let's head on over there then. But before we do that, uh, you know what? We should head back to Gantz. Actually, I didn't need to, s to stop there. I was thinking I was going to do something off screen, but no! Yeah, we can't get into Nabal. There's just way too many soldiers there. For now. But yeah, since we freed all these guys, well, they're all back here. So let's head on to the top there now that we freed all the men first. How's it going? So yeah, now, I mean, this guy was here before, but for whatever reason, he wouldn't have fixed the boomerang for you before. So, oh well. But now he can. So, and for fixing it, we get the broken boomerang, or boomerang, or... I don't know how you would pronounce it differently. What, one's the rang and one's the boomerang or something? I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, uh, I think some guys were telling us about a wise guy to the east. Something like that. Well, if they didn't, I'm telling you now. We gotta talk to him in order to uh, progress with the plot. So, I'll just show you how to get there. Remember they were telling us about 
it was someone else also who was telling us about how to or there was an old guy who uh, did something with weapons or something or other like that. They were talking about him in Prima. I forget. But we're just going to head on over there then. And obviously the enemies here are really weak, so I'll just use a Marble 3 just to save a little bit of time. But yeah, instead of going into the water, we got to go over here. <laughs> I like the look on his face. Usually I get something from that tree. Hmm. Maybe it's just random. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, you can punch these trees and sometimes you'll get something. Hey, hey, there it is. The coconut. You're going to need a coconut in order to progress with the plot eventually. So just like the white antler, you want to hold on to that for later. If not, well, I'll tell you when you can uh, get one later. But Now, I wonder if... Uh, if you talk to this guy earlier, he tells you about the broken ring or the boomerang or whatever. I wonder if you need to get that in order to progress with the plot here. If you do, that is a really bastard move game. But I always have the, uh, the boomerang by now, so I don't worry about that. But yeah, it would be seem kind of odd, like that iron ore. Well, I could have told you that. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Just like the Egg Dragon? No. No, that's another game. But, uh, okay. So now that we talked to him, we gotta head all the way back through the fortress again. So I'll just meet you on the other side, then. Okay, we're back. By the way, to the left there, if you take that left path, it'll take you to another dragon shrine. We can't do anything there for now. And by the way, that guy up there, who was, well, he used to be up there, uh, if you, if you know any other hidden locations where he shows up, let me know. I mean, I know where he shows up a few times, but I don't know if I know all of them, so. Anyway, let's just, uh, try to steal one of their eggs with egg power! I'll scramble you for boss time against the Grimfowl. Man, that is one ugly son of a bitch. Okay, so, first things first, let's uh, use... We actually want to use the Snow Dragon against this guy, because... Or girl? Woman? Because, well, it's her egg, obviously. But yeah, uh, she is weak to ice, actually. One of the very few bosses weak to ice. Or, I'm sorry, weak to ice! So, now we want to actually use a Marble 1, because uh, she has the elemental weakness, so it'll be more worthwhile here. One thing I found interesting when I was uh, playing a little bit earlier today, if you use a marble one and then you counterattack, your counterattack will. Oh yeah, your counterattack will. Oh yeah, or no, I don't want to use a marble one. Your counterattack will be slammed, but your then you'll do a regular normal attack that won't be slammed. But yeah, I didn't want to use a marble one because I pretty much nearly had her crit or at critical anyway. How are we doing on HP there? Uh, well, I probably could have healed up someone there. Especially Ryu. The Grimfowl doesn't have too much of a second win, but yeah, I don't think we'll need it. We'll be fine. But it would be a good idea to heal up Ryu there. Seems kind of odd that uh, the boss would use an attack that deals with... Oh! No, that still doesn't make sense. Why did that deal 75 to Karn, and then I would assume, like, what, 25% less to Ryu? Does he have an elemental resistance something? Uh... Oh, the flame shield. Oh, okay. That's why it dealt less damage. I was wondering about that. Oh, there we are. Okay, so, once you steal the egg, you want to walk out here, there, or out of here, very, very slowly. You want to get at least one of these guys following you. Step by step. Inch by inch! Okay, now, once you're on the world map, you know what, let's use a mar- well, 
Yeah, let's use... Now, nah, now nah, we're almost safe. Just be very careful. Take your time. You want to be very careful on the world map. Okay, one more. Ha! Made it! Okay, you throw the egg into the castle, and... Yeah, all the soldiers are in disarray there. Normally, there'd be a whole bunch of soldiers here, but, uh... Well, now we've, uh... Well, thrown them into disarray. But can we stop the Dark Dragon's weapon in the in the ball? Find out next time on Let's Play Breath of Fire! This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!